I want to talk to you about, first of all, Overt Act 1, which was Fulton County Case 13SC116787. It happened on January 25th, 2013. <coughs> By that date, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, it involves you allegedly, and you pled to this, com committing aggravated assault. Officer. Oh, yeah. Are you familiar now? Yes. Okay. Um, that happened at, in the apartment, our, the parking lot of an apartment complex at 2616 Old, Old Hateville Road, correct? Yeah. Okay. And you were charged with aggravated assault and possession of firearm by a convicted felon, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, we heard um, earlier a, a, a lady, a lady came in and testified about how Okay. Your Honor, I object as to rule of sequestration and testifying. I'm saying this is a I'm not sure if Mr. Sharp. Okay. There was, a, there was a stolen car in the apartment complex that day. Are you now aware of that? I don't know. Did you know that on that day? No. Did you know anything about a stolen car? No. Did you have take any part in robbing someone or, or carjacking someone in Noonan, Georgia? No. Okay. And you were never charged with that, correct? No. And you have never admitted any guilt in that? No. Correct. Okay. Now, let's go back to the apartment where that you now know that a stolen car was in that parking lot, correct? Yeah. And you know that because you ended up being charged in this in, in that case back in 2013 and your lawyers told you about that, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, that apartment complex, were you living there? No. Who, who was living there? Um, uh, associate. Okay. And at some point, did you notice people seated in a car in the parking lot of that apartment complex? Yes. Okay. How long were they there? Um, long enough to wonder who they were. And how far were they from your associate's um, front door? Um... Maybe to the that door right now, the courtroom door. To the back courtroom door? Yeah. Okay, for the purpose of the record, is it about 25 yards? Is that fair? I don't know the door with you. Okay, fair enough. Um, so you notice men, uh, and, and how many men were there? Two. Okay, and they were in a car okay, in the apartment complex? Yeah. Parking lot? Yeah. Okay. Why did you take note of that car? Um, because, because they was acting weird. They had on black hoodies. They was just being weird. Were they wearing police uniforms? No. Okay. What were you concerned of? My safety. My safety. Okay. Could you explain specifically why those men sitting in that car made you concerned for your safety? Um, I was setting drills at a time and I was trying to protect my, my money, me, and my drills. Okay. And I think I know where you're going with this, but could you spell it out? What were you concerned those men were doing or planning to do? Anything that can harm me, I don't know. Does that include robbery? Yes. Does that include armed robbery? Yeah. Okay. And did I know you said they weren't wearing police uniforms. Did you know they were police at the time? No. Okay. So when you saw these men outside, sitting in the car outside of your associate's door, um, what did you do? Um... I asked them if they could roll down their window. Okay. What did were you initially in the apartment building, the unit? 
I was in like the hallway of it. Okay, and so did you walk out and approach the man? Yeah, not all the way up to their car though, from a distance. Okay. And were you armed? Yes. Okay, with a handgun? Yes. Okay. Did, when you approached, how did that go? Um, I, uh, I did like this to ask them, can they roll their window down? Okay. And what happened? They was just, they just were looking. Okay, did they eventually roll the window down? No. Okay. Um, what happened next? Um, I pulled out my gun and, like, placed it on the, my side of my leg. Okay. And how far were you away, away from the car when you did this? Um, a distance. Okay. And what happened next? Um, he reached, he reached over and grabbed his walkie-talkie, and then I knew he was the police. He being who? Uh... The person that was in the truck. The driver or the passenger? The driver. Okay. And you said when he reached and grabbed the walkie-talkie, what did you realize then? That he was the police. How did you know it was police then? Because he had a walkie-talkie and put it towards the mill. Okay. And when you realized it was the police, well, let me ask you this. Before that happened, before you realized it was the police, did you ever point the gun at either of the mill? No. I never pointed a gun. Did you ever flash any gang signs? No. Did you ever say anything gang related? No. Did this, you said you were concerned about being ro robbed, the victim of an armed robber, by these unknown men, correct? No, um, yeah, I had all type of concerns. Did this have anything to do with a gang? No. Okay. And when you realized it was the police, what did you do? Um... I didn't stand my ground. I took out women. You said you did not stand your ground? No. You, okay. And where did you run? Um, to a nearby woods. And what did you do with the gun? I threw it. Did you ever shoot the gun? No. Did you ever point the gun at anyone? No. Look at the men seated out here as defendants. Um, did this case have anything to do with any of these men seated out here? No. Were any of them present at the apartment complex with you? No. Did this case have anything to do with Rock Crew? No. Did it have anything to do with YSL? No. This happened in 2013, correct? Remember the date, say. And were you charged at that time? Yes. Okay. And, in fact, you pled to aggravated assault and possession of a firearm during commit, uh, by a convicted felon, correct? I don't think I was a convicted felon at the time. I thought that was my first time being arrested. As an adult, I don't know. And that may be my fault, Mr. Stevens. And it is my fault. Your Honor, may I approach? You may, sir. I'm going to show you what's marked State's Exhibit 11A. Do you recognize that? Yes. Is that your, yes. Is that your plea form? Or your, the certified conviction from that case? Yes. And you were correct. You were convicted of aggravated assault and possession of firearm during commission of a felony, correct? Yes. Okay. You accept the responsibility? Yes. You did your time for that case? Yes. Okay. Back in 2013, did that did the state ever charge you with gang charges regarding this incident? No. Did they ever charge you with RICO or conspi conspiracy to violate RICO back in 2013? No. It wasn't until 2022 that the state made out those allegations that this was related to a gang, correct? Yes. 